Alright, we're back with our Skyward Sword walkthrough, Scales 311. And we just got done with a pretty big video of... It became big, side quests. We had one here to do that I didn't think... Ooh, got a new chandelier. Remember a long time ago we knocked it down. Um, and got a heart piece, so... So that's nice. Okay, so he's getting ready. Alright, so we got our pumpkin soup. An island with an everlasting rainbow. Now if you've been, you know, we've gone into the Thunderhead quite a bit already, so and it's always pretty easy to see that island. So, <laughs> we need to head to the Thunderhead, which is just past. Ooh, excuse me, just past the uh, Skyloft there. So some warpage or boost in whatever you call these things. Oh, finally got hit by one of them. You gotta call your bird again, basically. That's the first time I actually got hit by the tornado, so... I always mention them, but never got hit by one. That's what happens. Nothing really big. You just gotta call your bird again, and... It doesn't throw you that far, of course. Not like Wind Waker, when you get hit by the one, and it takes you, like, across the freaking map. I'm gonna sail all the way back. Uh, so these guys want to fight now too. I got a fancy uh, spin move too. What you got? So head to the Rainbow Island. Here's the boy. It's like the sky god or the protector of the skies. And those eyeballs don't look natural, so <laughs> he's has a he's possessed by something, that, like he said, so
great spirit of the skies, Levias. So this is pretty much a boss fight. Um, that's why I liked starting a new video for it. I just missed that heart. Okay, basically, I'm just collecting a few hearts here to start the fight off. Um, that wasn't good. That wasn't. Yeah, that's not that. I don't remember that happening before. All right, well, time to get him more heart. Okay, uh, so you basically gotta just get those eyes. Uh, that can be a little tricky to get because they move around. You gotta use your. Uh, you gotta use your spin attack on them like that. Um, there's four eyes. The first time I fought this guy, I was a complete idiot. Um, after I did this part, and I'll show you what I did to be an idiot. Um, because what you do is pretty damn obvious, but for some reason I was, I don't know, I guess I was thinking, oh shit, I was thinking too much on my last, my first playthrough. Oh god, I did not get that, really? See, that's the problem with this, you gotta wait now until you're spin move comes back. It is a little, I, don't know, I find it a little tricky this part just because the way the eyes move to not get hit. And then the tail always gets in the way. There's no real good way to pick up speed. Uh, side maybe. No, he still hit me. Lock on the eyes, which blows. If you can lock on the eyes, it'd be a lot easier. Okay. Slowly but surely get this. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Don't do, don't do that. What the hell? That one was pure luck, but I'll take it. Okay. Nice. Now what I did the first time, because I'm stupid, was I kept trying to spin attack this thing. Because I figured, oh, we learned that spin attack, so we're going to have to use it against this guy too, you know? And after doing that for a while, from different angles and a whole bunch of other stupid shit, um, I realized that it's impossible. He always hides. So what you need to do is hop on top, and not there. You don't want to do that at all. That is what you do not want to do. Um, okay, that was not well done. God damn it, those eyes better still be dead. I think they will. They're not that mean to you in this game. Yeah, okay. You want to hop on top of that section. Um, don't start from the back like I did because he uh, obviously moves forward. That's what happened. Once you get up here, you have to fight this guy. And he is... He's a boss. He's got a boss name. Ocular Parasite Biolocyte. So this is a typical Zelda fight um, where you have to knock back with your sword 
um, when he shoots at you. So you, what you have to do first though is get rid of the wings. So you swing, you know, from left to right to hit that one, right to left to hit the other one. Once you get the timing down, and then you have to go over. God, you go a uh, vertical one to hit his eye. He lies down and you beat on him. Like that. And then you just rinse and repeat, basically. That's the fight. God, my time is off. Okay, that's the first one. You kind of gotta go vertical up. So I kind of went vertical down there on accident. And the uh, MC did not work. So you have to go vertical. Like a, you know, a diagonal up, I guess. It's really not hard. I, I was uh, screwing up on my timing for some reason on the beginning, but now I got it. I was just getting going too early. Being antsy. No, that was not. I went vertical. I felt it. Oh, he moved. I'm sorry. There he goes. He's moving again. So you gotta kind of follow him. Forgot about that. So he's going right. So go to the right. He's going right again. He's going right again. Left and is this it? Yeah, that feels like it's it. And that is it for this guy. Had a bit of a timing issue in the beginning, but it worked itself out. Do I get a heart piece for the heart container for that? It'd be nice if I did. I can't remember. I really can't remember the, a lot of this game from now on. I said a long time ago I beat it on Wii, and then I played Hero Mode up until the Lanaru Mining Facility, which is a long time ago. And then I uh, started this, so... Force is in Skyloft. So it looks like we actually don't get a heart piece, heart container for that fight. Which is a tad upsetting. Can I run into in him? No. Yeah, I don't really like the fact that we don't get one. Being that it is a boss fight, but what are we gonna do? Okay. So we can actually we can't actually save on 
the back of the Leviathan, so we're gonna head back to uh, Skyloft to save. And then end the video there. Um, so basically, we need to find the Song of the Hero, each one of the dragons. We've only actually met one dragon, and that was Pharon from Pharon Woods. But there's a dragon for each province. Um, each one has a part of the song. So we still gotta go to each province and do what they want, you know, do a task. And then uh, learn the song before we can actually find the location of the Triforce. So like I said, there is a lot to do in this game. There's even more to do. Heading on down to Skyloft and we're hurting. We need to crash, we need a bed. And you still don't want to talk to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, there's nothing I really want from you. No offense. <laughs> Except for you to give me your quest. Uh, okay, um, he's still not back yet, and these guys have nothing to say, we have nothing to upgrade. So what I'm going to do is sleep real quick, and then we're going to save, I want to get my hearts back. I think sleeping refills all your hearts, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know what, let's see if we can do Beetle yet. You can't sleep on Beetles. Um, boat, or ship, or whatever you want to call it. And I think we can sleep till morning. If you sleep till night, then he takes you to his... Um, island. Which, I don't really want to go to his island right now. But I do want to see if his quest is available. And it is not, man. Okay, until morning, so we we'll, should wake up right here again. So we get all the hearts back, which is nice, because we were hurting there. I had a little trouble with the timing on that, uh, Bilocyte fight in the beginning, you know, so. He smacked me around a little, but nothing I can't handle. Alright, so we're going to end this here. We have another mission to learn the Song of the Hero. And we will start working on that in the next one. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.